You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and now I have a new fresh face. Yes. For, uh, you're going to have to pay attention to Kiara Howard, who is interning at Brockton Housing Authority. Yes. You're a student at Massasoit. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, communications media, yes. I believe. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, graduating this yes, year. Yes, so graduating you're gonna You're going to give me a reason to go to graduation. I usually yes. go if my students are graduating or I know somebody. So, um, But right now you're working on this great program. You even mm -hmm. have a T-shirt to prove it, um, Raising Champions dealing with today's readers are tomorrow's leaders. Yes. I like the slogan. That's cool. Tell us about it. Tell us about the program. We'll talk about the event. Let's talk about the program first. So basically Raising Champions, what it is, it's an educational campaign that alerts parents of the importance of childhood reading. So a lot of the time as parents, we feel like it's like we feel as though the teachers are our kids first teacher, but technically it's us. So what this program does is it makes parents aware of that and then also the benefits as you being your child's first teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I certainly have experience with that, not just being a teacher and being from a family of teachers. I have two sons. They're both grown, 26 and 24, and that was my favorite thing to do. I love reading. I, I love to read, period. Mm -hmm. I have way too many books in my house. I'm <laughs> on the library board. I love all of that, but that was my favorite thing to do. I still remember some of those stories. I mean, I had one son that was, um, I guess he was addicted to dinosaurs, <laughs> and I knew every name of every dinosaur, and I read that, but we read all sorts of stuff, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you can park the kids in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. You can, unfortunately now they understand and know how yeah, to... tablets. Tablets, and uh, it, it's crazy, mm -hmm. it, it, and the reading suffers in that mm -hmm. case, I think. I, you can read stuff online, don't get yeah. me wrong, but there's nothing in my mind like turning the pages of the book. Yeah, I don't I don't like reading off electronics sometimes because sometimes you get a headache and then you're not prone to understand it. It's just like, let me hurry up and read this. So how new is the program? Is, is this brand new? Is this, uh, you've been, is this been done for a while? So the program isn't brand new. It's been around for a while, but I know it hasn't been active for quite some time. But however, I am the first intern to take this over. So it's, it's old, but we are revamping some things. So it's been around for a little while. So on April 13th, mm -hmm. at Crescent Court, yes. you're going to kick it off again. Yes. Okay, so tell us what people can expect when they come on the 13th. What, what would they look forward to? So on April 13th, we are having an event to help promote the importance of early childhood literacy. So this event is called Spring into Literacy, and because it's the day before Good Friday and also the Thursday before Easter, it's going to be Easter themed, so we'll have an Easter egg hunt, we'll have some three-leg races, we'll have some free books to give away, and also, if you are following us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Raising Champions MA, you could also see that we have two raffles going on for two Easter baskets that um, parents could win for their children, and we are um, currently working on a relax and read package for a parent. Mm -hmm. So just be looking for those things. But we plan to have a lot of fun and also to promote a lot of awareness about the importance of early childhood literacy. Do you have a time for the event? 6.30 yeah. until 8 p.m. Okay, so right before... Bedtime. Yes. I guess. See, but we might we be able to stay up a little later that because night. Because we don't have no school, school on Friday. Friday. That's right. That's right. Um, I think kids love to read and they have a thirst for knowledge and mm. they soak it up like a sponge. So that's that's what you're hoping. So are they yes. gonna be are, are they gonna be like mentors? Are they gonna be people like you're an intern and, 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 and I mean, it's going to be parents, but are there going to be other young people and, and folks involved in, in, in pushing this? So that's kind of undecided right now, but okay. we have been reaching out to some third-party um, people that are um, who also have an educational campaign that promotes the importance of reading. So we have been reaching out to them to kind of just cross-reference and give parents of the resources, but for the most part... Um, no it's one the parents. Age. It's the yes. parents of the kids. Okay, yes. um, I got involved. One of the thing, one of my favorite things that I did that dealt with reading is I'm on the board of directors for Brockton Day Nursery, which is right near Crescent Court, yes, right, right on Crescent Street, and we did a BDN Reads campaign. So I went to read to the kids. My wife went with me, 
And guess what? I ended up on the board of directors. I had so oh, much fun cool. because the teachers are really good. The kids were a lot of fun. I've gone back numbers of years. We invite people in from the community. We, what they do is they bring in the, the school committee members, the mayor, different uh, the police chief, the fire chief, to come in and do that. So I'm going to I'm gonna give them that idea because, and then the city does it. When uh, Dr. Seuss's birthday in Brockton, oh, yeah, every year the passed. city does uh, all around the city at all the schools. Mm -hmm. They have thing one and thing two, and they do the Dr. Seuss theme. Or you can bring in whatever book you want. You can be an educator. They bring in tons of people. Yeah, so. I actually met with the um, reading specialist from the, is it still called the Russell School? That's now all kindergarten. The Barrett Russell School. Yes. yes. So I met with the reading specialist there, and it was actually on the day of Dr. Seuss's birthday. So she'll also be there. Um, I sent an invitation for her. Nice. And I'm also trying to do it away so that the schools can kind of promote the event to the parents. Like, hey, this is what's going on, and you and your child are invited. So yeah. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm not gonna put him on the spot or anything. <laughs> but I went to high school with Tom Tebow, who's your executive director of Brockton Housing Authority. And I know Tom is a good reader, so he's going to have to <laughs> make an appearance over there. Um, that's a good date, I think, you picked. It's before school vacation week. It's before the Good Friday time frame. And um, it, we're all so waiting for it to be spring. Yes, this, this weather's been every gross. It's, it's crazy. Um, okay, I'm going to have you sell it. If you want to look into the camera, you get the experience and, uh, and, and get the parents to come to this thing and participate. So on April 13th, 2017, from 6.30 until 8 p.m. at Crescent Court, we will be having a Spring into Literacy event. And we encourage and urge parents to come just so that you can have more information and you can be more informed because we know that we always can't be with our kids 24 hours a day. But if you come to this event, there's something for you and your child. So we're hoping to see you. And most campaigns ask for money. But we're asking for books, so if anybody is openly willing to donate books, you can donate them to us. And you can also find us at Facebook for more information at www.facebook.com backslash Raising Champions MA. Perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better <laughs> sales pitch. So any final thoughts you have? Um, you, you're enjoying yourself doing this, yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. You like it? Good. Yes. Well, we're looking forward to following it and making sure it's successful. We're okay. glad we can help promote it. And thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And we'll see more of your face. I can yes. guarantee it. Okay? Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.